Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Bridal. Looks like Richard Mulrooney, head coach of Memphis Soccer. And coach, uh, got a game here tonight we're going to talk about in a little bit. But the season moving along uh, fairly quickly on the uh, road and at home last week. So let's go back to last Wednesday. And you played one of, one of the traditional powers uh, in the American and one when we were back in Conference USA at SMU took a 3-1 loss to the Mustangs. Yeah, you know, Kevin's done a great job of his first year at SMU, and you're right, they're getting back to where they were, a powerhouse. The, the kids that are coming out of Dallas, they're technical players, they're big physical players, and they play a good brand of soccer. And I just think on that night, um, they got the better of us a bit. You know, I wouldn't say in every aspect, but at the end of the day, when you give them some opportunities, and they finish them, and then when you, they present you some and you don't take advantage of it, Usually it ends up being a loss, and that's what they did to us. But I thought it was a, a good, hard-fought game. But uh, at the end of the day, we did drop some conference points at home, which isn't good. And uh, obviously I give credit to SMU, but it was something that, uh, you know, in moving forward, we need to start getting points at home, especially in the conference. Had to turn around that real quick, but you did hit the road on the weekend and went up to Temple, a 4-0 loss, and having to go back up to the Northeast where you're just there recently. Right, and I'd like to say that was an excuse. We had to go back up there, tired <laughs> travel, but... At the end of the day, we just didn't get it done. You know, I thought the preparation was good. You know, there's no, you know, delays in the airport. The food was good. Everything was great. We just didn't show up. We got beat physically. We got beat mentally. And mm -hmm. when you do that against a, a solid Temple team in conference on their home field, they took advantage of us for sure. And the fact that they played better than us, they, you know, scored four goals. And you know, I'd again, I like to make excuses, but the bottom line is we didn't show up, and we need to learn from that. That was disappointing, and we're looking for a quick turnaround over tonight. And obviously, it's an out of conference, but the same time, it's another game to get that sour taste out of our mouth. You mentioned tonight, going to jump out of conference. Georgia State comes to Mike Rose, and this is a team that can can put a lot of goals in the net. They can. They play a 3-5-2, so they obviously put pressure on in the midfield. Two forwards up top. They like to try to get behind. They pressure you. And so if we're not on our game, if we have another performance like we did our last one, it could be a long night. But I've got a feeling from the preparation we've done as well as just the talks we've had over the last couple of days, we'll be ready for it. You know, I think we're going to have a lineup that will be – uh, very competitive, and obviously we're at home coming off a loss against SMU. While it's not conference, we want to, you know, it's been a while since we all, we've only won one home game this year against UCA. That's, you know, that's a few too less that, to my liking. So we want to get a win, get that confidence going in, hopefully, and in, in leading into the game versus uh, USF on Friday. You like a non conference game this late in the season just to see someone different? I do, I do. I think it's sort of a good fit for the fact that, you know, we just took one on the chin the other night you know, to hopefully gain some confidence. And I'm not saying this is a game that will gain confidence for sure. We've got to show up and play or else, you know, we'll go keep on going the other way. But I like the idea of it being a team that I've never played against, the boys have never played against, we're at home. It, it was a, the right fit. And when you set up your schedule, you're just hoping that is it too much, is it too little? I think this is the right time for it. Even though a day of practice would have been good, games are always the best to get, uh, to get that confidence going. Then you'll come uh, back home Friday, South Florida. Yeah, USF speaks for itself. You know, we've got a great uh, rivalry with them. Uh, we obviously were able to beat them at their place last year. We went back to them two weeks later in the conference quarterfinals. They beat us the year before. I think when they came here, we beat them. So they're a, a well, they're four and zero right now at the on top of the mm -hmm. conference. So I think their record speaks for itself. Very, very technical team. Team that again we have to be careful with, but we have confidence against them as well because we've gotten results of them against them lately. But on paper, that doesn't win it for us. We've got to play our brand of style, and that's you know getting the ball wide and getting crosses in the box and attacking the ball and obviously defending as a unit. Because if you let them isolate you one on one, they I think they win that battle on the paper. But it's a game that it's definitely winnable for us. But it's a game that we've got to keep focused for 90 minutes because you know they're four and zero for a reason. We're one two and one. Uh, a win against them would not not only give us three points but drop three points for them. It's a six point swing that. I think, uh, that, like you said, this becoming this late in the season, it would make a difference for us to move up the standings and hopefully, you know, move into that third or fourth spot and uh, you know hold on to it, possibly hosting that quarterfinal game here in Memphis. Of course, you got to enjoy playing soccer this time of year in the Mid South because the weather is great. I'd have a good crowd out there tonight, and then for your conference match this weekend. A absolutely, you know, this is you know, there's nobody that's cramping up. That sun's not too hot. We don't play on field turf. It's a night game. I mean, everything's set up for us to uh, to take advantage of it. And like you said, with the weather being it is, I mean, if you you don't enjoy playing in these environments, you're playing the wrong sport. All right, Coach, as always, we appreciate it. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. And as said, Coach Richard Mulroney, I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.